An Irondale homeowner tonight is warning you to think twice or at least to read the fine print before signing up for a reverse mortgage. As on your side investigator Jonathan Hardison learned, she's stuck living in a damaged home while trying to get the money she needs to fix it. For Shirley Townley, the sliding door there, uh, it knocked it off, uh, off of the uh, rack. This house turned from a home into a headache when a tree fell into her kitchen during a storm back in July. It was such a mess you couldn't even get through there. After days of wrestling with her insurance company, she finally found a contractor willing to at least repair her roof and make her home livable while she waited for her insurance settlement money. But when that insurance check came weeks later, Shirley says she was told she had to sign it and send it to her reverse mortgage company first. And the insurance people said I had to sign to send it to them. They would sign it, send it back. I said, okay, so I sent it to them overnight mail and uh, I signed it and that wasn't true because they kept it. They kept my money and they won't give it to me. Shirley reached out to our six on your side call for action team for help. We learned the reverse mortgage company will only release the funds in three different waves, with the final batch of money coming only once all of the repair work is done. You get somebody to come fix it, and then you get receipts that you paid them and send it to them. Then they want a written statement from them. They won't put a lien upon the house. How crazy is that? Nobody's not going to fix this without their money. This is something people don't really know about a reverse mortgage. They should know that when a tragedy happens, if it's over $5,000, you're going to have a problem with them. Shirley says she doesn't have the money to pay for these tens of thousands of dollars in repairs up front. You know, I just trust God. The contractor who agreed to work on her roof now wants his money and she's left wondering what else is behind these walls. All these walls has got to come back with you. We don't know whether there's mold behind it or not. While she cooks this meals on a microwave in her bedroom. We're just having to live the best we can. And it's not easy, believe me, it's not. And warning others before you decide to go the reverse mortgage route. The money that the people are holding is actually my money. They didn't pay for that, I did. It's just stuff like that, that's just ridiculous. But yet they tell you, it's your house. It's my house. Looks like they're running it. We reached out to Shirley's insurance company who says they've given that reverse mortgage company all the paperwork they need. But Shirley's family says they're hoping someone can help her cover the cost of the rest of these repairs up front so she can get her home back to normal and get the money back from that reverse mortgage company. By the way, that reverse mortgage, it's part of the Department of Housing and Urban Development, a federal government agency. Jonathan Hardison, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.